So here. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link you my stream so you can see what I'm going through. Yeah. When sure. I'm talking. Okay. Now you might want to mute it. I don't know what exactly the stream delay is. I think it's about like two, three seconds. That's all good. Uh, the the only thing that I don't know if it's a setting, but I really don't like that you can't see the cursor. Like you can't see where I'm clicking, and it almost is more like they interpolate the camera view from me based on what my last action was. I don't know. Yeah, well, like if you have a unit selected, like let's say I I have your scout selected here, I'll just show you. You can actually see where you click with your scout. I can see where I what? I can see like your waypoint flags and shit. So like I I can't see where you're clicking, like for the most part. But I'm gonna be honest, sorry, right? I don't really I don't really care what you're clicking. Yeah. It's more about like, so first things first, I'm going to go through this a couple times, right? The first time I'm just going to go through fast speed, I'm just going to get an idea for where you are skill wise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. And I can, I mean, there'll be a little delay, but I'll talk you through the walking. My no, 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 no. I'll, we can do that later, man. Build order. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. So just first things first, what are you trying to do here? Like, what's your. Your Portuguese, uh, I don't know if that matters for you. Like, what are you trying to do? I am trying to find my board, my sheet. No, 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 like strategy. Like, I'm not talking like... I, I was, oh, I was, uh, I was going uh, archers, archers. So. Okay. So your goal is to get up to feudal and go pure archers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, four on wood, four barracks play. So first thing before anything, as I'm sure you know, like your scouting is really inefficient. Yeah, it, I actually, I mean, what I like, look at this. Yeah. You just went from here to here. Yeah, I, and I, back. I, I pretty much queued stuff up, and then I, was, I don't know what I was really thinking back then. But um, no, it's it's all right. You, so here, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say a lot of things that are going to kind of sound negative. Well, here, let me. Right, let me, and I don't want you to feel the need to defend yourself. Because I I was that bad once too, okay? I don't want to defend myself, but let me just say where I'm coming from. Sure. I, I think from my perspective, even I rewatched the replay a minute ago. I left before I actually found my choke points on my wall offs. Okay. Uh, which was a big mistake, and yeah, it was super inefficient scouting. It was just like shit viewing in a circle around the base. But I left before I found all of my wall offs. It, like by the time that. So I here's realized, here's another thing, okay? How much food do you need to click up? The feudal age. Uh, four hundred or no, five hundred, five hundred. All right. How much is a villager? Fifty. Okay. How many villas do you have queued up right now? Not the one that's being made. How many do you have queued up? Uh, in excess, yes. Okay. No, no. Like, okay. what is it? Uh, nine. <laughs> How much food is that? Or ten. Yeah. Okay. 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 You have nine. That's four hundred fifty food. I could have clicked up right now. You could have clicked okay. up right now. Okay. I think. I don't. I think I was playing, I don't know if it was, I was playing like some 27 pop-up, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, like I, like, I don't So yeah, no, no, it's, okay, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna backtrack, okay, because the thing is, is you cancelled all your queued up bills, right, so you only made, ended up making one more bill, so you went to 24 pop, or 23 bills, Yeah. and then you go up, right? So, I mean, clearly you notice that, hey, I have, like, nine bills, I can just go up. Yeah, wait, too many. Uh, your mic's kind of cutting it out for me. It's probably my internet. Uh, it's probably Discord. Um, okay. do you have TeamSpeak? Uh, I do have TeamSpeak, actually. Here, I'll send you a server. Very nice. Um, I need you right here. Okay, there's no password to the server. Just the server. Right now for our backup server, but not a team server. 
just for you. I'm just gonna kick all these random people that I have no idea who they are. So here, I'll move you to my channel. User was moved to your okay. channel. Okay, alright, alright, that was which was you. There yep. you go. Okay. <laughs> alright, let me kill Discord really quick. Yeah, I just did I think as well. you're muted. Um... I'm just gonna quickly clean this up, one sec, sorry. So we're just gonna keep going through this. Okay, hopefully I'm not cutting out anymore. No, no, you're not cutting out. It's just, uh, it's like doing some docking, and I think it's just bandwidth. Alright. It, which is TeamSpeak working better than Discord. Uh, so, yeah, I, I actually did rewatch the replay just to play for the first um, And I definitely see some mistakes I made. I thought last night I fizzled out. Like, I, I thought I was in the lead, and I clearly wasn't. This kid was... Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's just stop right here real quick, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but what are your... What's your eco numbers right now? Uh, 789. All right. How many buildings do you have that are using gold? Right now. I'll show None, you. None, actually. Yeah, you're right. It's three, three for each archery range. Pretty much, so, right? Yeah. Yep. So you don't have any archery ranges, then why do you not have any archery ranges? Um, because I started... Well, because... Well, I just... I think I just got into feudal. So right now you're about 13 minutes in the game. You've been in feudal for two minutes. So that, yeah, that was just a pure fail. Okay. So here's the thing, okay? You have two farms made. That's 120 wood. Okay? Yeah. You have nine guys on gold. And I don't need food. I don't need food. You're right. So you have nine guys on gold, right? Yeah. And you're currently sitting at almost 450 gold, and you're not using and any I, gold. And I just realized another snafu. Isn't it supposed to be like 14 on wood for double range? So, no, it's... <sighs> really good players will use 10. And they'll micro their wood so it's really efficient. Yeah. Just go with 12. Six on each. Just like, six on each. Okay. That's not optimal, okay? Like, I'm not saying this because it's an optimal thing. I'm saying this just so you can make archers and yeah. farms. And then yeah, when you get an excess of wood, you take one off, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to go through this, and we're going to, like, revamp your build a little bit, okay. right? But I'm, I'm going to keep stopping, and we're going to just keep looking at your eco balance because this is what wins you games. Yeah, the, now I'm realizing how much it killed my game. Yeah, I and I mean, what? you're the bravest man I've met because you went up without loom in a 1v1. I did. I did, I did do that. You did? I think it was because and I saw him scout me, so I, was, I wasn't too afraid, but I should have been because he rushes me right after the. Or, he rushes me. So right he's after. at 13 minutes, okay? So this guy's 13 minutes in, and he's just making his racks. And we're not really going to worry about him, okay? okay. We're going to ignore the deer in the middle. This is going to actually be. Like, whenever you play Valley, yeah, ignore I the deer. The importance. I actually, I think I remember in this game, I didn't realize I was in Valley until I scouted the river. Alright, but like, I'm just talking for like, later on, as you start getting better, yeah. ignore the deer, okay? Okay. That deer, at your level, so, will lose you games. The retard magnet. In, yeah, in, and that's in, exactly, yeah. it's new bait. It's new bait. Yeah. And it's like that with all games, like, okay. Hera, Doubt, a lot of really top players are like, before your 18xx, don't even worry. They don't exist. Yeah. You see Viper take deer? Viper can do anything against a 2k3 and win. Yeah. Like, Viper is not human. <laughs> <laughs> we are not Viper. We are shit. Yeah. Right? So, just honest to God tip, I used it myself. Just ignore the deer. The deer doesn't exist. Don't push the deer. Don't make a mill on the deer. Just play yeah. the build. Learn the build without the deer, and then when you get better and you can manage the deer and you know how to adjust your equal to the deer, use yeah. the deer. Okay. Yeah, because it would it would just throw. It. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Because I should be able to like drop a bill if I'm actually taking deer, I could drop a bill off of the farm or something. Yeah, and you'll understand how that interacts with the rest of your build. Yeah. Because it changes shit. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. So, I'm like, look at this. You're at 750 gold and you just made, and you have one range without making archers. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. 
I, I was actually... Yeah. No, it's okay, man. Like, you're gonna fail. It's okay. Like... <laughs> I realize, like, looking at this now that you know what you're looking at, it's like, oh my god, how could I be that dumb? <laughs> Don't worry about it. There's gonna be a lot of that. Like... Actually, most of it is, like, this replay, I was like, how did I hold Squirrely for as long as I did? Because... He was smashing me. Like, so here's the thing, okay? The One thing for your level, you're doing really well. You're making villagers. Look at your vill count and his vill count. Uh, 28 to oh, 24. Yeah. yeah, okay. And you've already lost two vills. Yeah. That actually continues on. That is one thing I do remember about this. He responds really well, though. So you didn't notice the tower. That was his fuck up, you should have pushed my gold. No, no, I'm saying you didn't notice the tower out on your wood. I don't care about him, he doesn't matter in this, right? We're okay. looking at you. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, I did respond to the wood guys off. I pulled the gold guys off and three micro them to that node, and I didn't do it for my wood. I already took some damage. So your house, three farms, four farms. So here... Yeah. <laughs> I can hear your voice like, this is no, a, no, no, I'm not. to criticize something that's a giant puddle of, uh... No, no, I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm more like talking to myself right now. Like, I'm looking at your res, and I'm looking at what you're trying to do. Yeah. So, so like, you have archers queued up, and you're like, you made a house, so you're unpopped, and then you're gonna get popped again, and you're gonna have to make another house, and I feel like this is gonna be a repeat cycle for a little bit. I'm not saying that to be mean, it's just, that's just yeah. the feeling I get. Your pops. It's kind of like and houses. Like, if there this go. was a, if it was like a plane or a car or something, I'm not driving in front of it. I'm driving for like flying behind it. So it's always reactionary right now. Yes. So like you could see my over yes. over compensation on wood because of the freak out that I didn't have wood. Yeah. And then you're gonna see my over over compensation on housing when I start fucking sending like a pure build to just build. So I'm gonna be 100 percent right. Queuing up five houses in a row and just letting one vill build the houses, everyone does it. Yeah. Because when you're in a game, and let's say you have one TC constantly making villagers, which you don't right now, yeah. and you have two ranges constantly making archers or skirmishers, yeah. you're going to run out of pop space faster than you can make new houses intermittently. Like You're going to have to constantly be making oh, new houses. Oh shit, you're right. You're, you're making three every minute. Not even. You're making three every 30 seconds. Yeah, six, six every minute. So you are gonna... Right? So, like, doing one vill and having it just constantly make houses, you need to do it. Okay. 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 Right? So that's not overcompensation. That's something I didn't actually think about. It, it's something that's in the math and I should have seen, but that's not something that I thought about. Hey, man, that's, that's why I'm... can't outhouse that, right? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to help you with here, right? So another thing to look at, let's look at your eco balance now. Uh -huh. 21 on wood, 6 on gold, really 4 bad. on food. Yep. Alright, so, I don't know, but like, when you have a lot of extra wood, what do you think you should be doing with it? Uh, right now, honestly, I should have built a marker and sold it. No, you should be making farms. Make and it's gonna, this applies to all ages, right? And by what I mean by ages is like feudal age, castle age, imperial age. Yeah. So the biggest thing is, is when you have extra wood, you take a vill off of wood and you put it on a farm. And oh, your TC okay. waypoints, they just go to wood. So new vills go to wood. And then when you have wood, they make a farm and now those guys are getting food. Oh, well, that's okay. That's not something I thought about before. Right? So you, like just a boring TC waypoint to wood and then... You have an overage of wood, yeah. go make farm. Now, this is obviously assuming that you have your seven vills on gold for your two archeries. Like, if you need vills on gold, yeah. then you take them off of wood, you put them to gold, or you put your new TC waypoint to gold. But I see the flow, I, I like a flow chart of, like, yeah. ten in the wood, and then if... And then new vills go to wood, farms. and then they make farms. And in the really early game, like, late dark age, early feudal, they don't go to your wood piles, they cut the stragglers around your base. Because then you can just take them off the straggler and make a farm. All the pros okay. do this. Like, okay. everyone does this. It's just, you get it's food in, you make a farm, 
So then you can make more bills and you can get fa up faster. I never thought about that. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of like a parking thing, but yet now I realize it's it's no. actually just a flowchart of and it's them busy. super. It, this is super higher level. Not what I'm saying right now, but like when you watch Heron, he's like in his later guides, and he's like, yeah. "I'm gonna take my bills off of gold now completely because I'm not making gold units." Yeah. This is something you don't see people do until they're like 2k. Gotcha. Because gotcha. The, your economy yeah. is truly a malleable thing, right? You can, you're can constantly molding it to what you're doing next. Yeah. Uh, the only thing, like one of my biggest takeaways from this game, because I watched his, I watched my vantage point. Yep. And then I watched his vantage point. Uh, was that I only won the game, or not won, I only hung into the game because I was playing like just basic ass stutter step micro and he kind of brain farted on it. Okay. Um, but uh, he obliterated me like in economy and his just like his basic ass strategy. And like I learned, I, I did learn from the piece. But let's just, uh, let's, let's... so I'm going to say something that's my hurt your feelings. Okay. Oh, and okay. I have, I have a 2k4 say this to me. All right. You're not good enough to worry about micro. Don't fucking micro to see your ego. That's yeah. And that's what I, that's my takeaway, and I swear to God, it was. It, I don't think it was Hera. I think it was like. Now, because I spend a lot of time watching streams, yep. and that kind of keeps me wanting from or stop not playing, because I'm like I will never be, put in at all. But the, it was basically like, fuck your micro, play play macro and just patrol move until yes. you have your macro perfect. Yes. And me at eighteen plus. I am being told you're over microing. Your TCs are idle. This yeah. is why you're losing games. Yeah. Patrol move and play a perfect. Fucking like move and forget, bro. Good. Just move that shit and forget. Yeah. You go back and all die to the TC. Oops, I won't patrol to the TC next time. That was one of those hair or hair of it. He was just like, all right, so we're just gonna patrol move them and we're not gonna watch it. We're and we're gonna, gonna go do my eco. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna go do my eco. We know that we're gonna do damage but we're not gonna watch it we're not gonna yeah. take that like satisfaction yeah just, just go back to the that's exactly yeah. it and you're not gonna need even the most minimal amount of micro until you're like 15 plus yeah and you're not you're like 12 yeah no i, I really i probably am i don't know how d's on uh, d you're not 12 on d like i'm talking boobly sorry i use boobly rates because what, D's what, just like such a shit show right now. Pardon me? Starting ELO for, I'm um, actually, I'm really, uh, yeah, no, 12, that's the thing, they changed the starting ELOs. Yeah, Ubu so in D-E, in D, the starting ELO is 1,000. Yeah, and, and on Boobly and, and HD it was 1,600. Yes. Okay. Which makes me really interested on how the ELO is going to creep. What, where, where's the high peak going to be? So, the starting ELO is by, when we're, w what a lot of people are thinking right now, the, it's going to peak at about 3,200. So my guess is by the end of next year, someone who's like 1,800 on Boobly will be about 21, 22 on DE. That's my personal bet. Like, But so you think in the end, it doesn't starts, matter. That's, that's counterintuitive to me, but so you think because DE starts at a lower ELO... No, it has nothing to do with where you He's start. Go it has to do with the segregation of lobbies. So on Boobly, you have 500 to 1,000 people that only play in the new player lobby. So their yeah. winning or losing does not affect the medieval siege the lobby. Yeah. Whereas with DE, you have people who are just getting the game, people who are from the new <laughs> lobby, people who are from Steam, and yeah. essentially what we're doing is we're comparing the rating here with all these people in the same system, yeah, to absolutely. the medieval siege where they're not, they don't influence. That that's a flashback to my Dota days where we have people at ten thousand MMR, and it's a straight Elo system. Yep. But it's pure creep because of new players and new. Because accounts. of the amount of people, absolutely. Yep. And that's exactly what's going to happen with the. Probably will, unless they start doing like some sort of. I don't know, like a new lobby system. Like, oh, congratulations, he hit 2,000. You're on a different ladder, maybe. Yeah, maybe. totally different ladder. Yeah, but that's not going to happen, right? So that's why it's like I can see it easily hitting 32, 33. 
Pete? Yeah, no, I, I actually, from what you're saying, I actually, if this keeps being popular, which I think it is, I, I see, like, it's... I don't know. A lot of people on really are going to start leaving DE soon if it doesn't get patched. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of shit wrong with it, but I, they have Microsoft backing them. They're trying to make it a mixer thing. I, I don't see them dropping the ball, like, uh, personally, like, planets like that do. Well, look at, look at what happened to Anthem. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, what was the Tom Clancy one? Is. Uh, what? Let's 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 list some new other fails, right? Like, there's a lot of games that have a lot of backing and just fail, bro. Yeah. So it's it's Fallout seventy six. I think the devs are they're trying to unify it though because they realize they split the base with HD. So they made the they took. Pretty much most of the shit out of the player patch. And like, so like the thing is, okay. here I'm sorry. Like the biggest thing is, is the team that released DE is not the team that did uh, HD. Wait, it's not. No. So was... the team that did the Forgotten expansion, Forgotten Empires expansion, is the core of the team that did DE. Okay. But the ge people who made the base game of HD, can, they are not involved in this. That was Star yeah. Lab or Starbox or whatever the fuck they were called. Like, Skybox. Skybox, that's what they were called. Completely different okay. developers and development studio, right? Yeah, so a lot of the guys good. who are, like, team leads with DE yeah. are at, were actually, like, very intimately familiar with the Age of Empires 2 community. The people who originally did yeah. HD, they had no knowledge. They were, like, people who were, like... That makes some sense. I played this game in 1999, I forgot it existed until I got hired to make it. Yeah. So anyway, we're okay. completely on a tangent. So let's just keep going through this. So here, we're just gonna keep our eyes on your TC and on your resource count. Yeah, no, just like, look at your TC though, okay? Just look at your yeah. TC right now. How long has it been? Three, four minutes? Uh, no, I mean, uh, going on a minute and a half, two minutes. Now. Okay. It was double queued, and then... Holy shit, yeah. And then, it's not a doubt castle, but I have a double siege stuff on. It's like it's a moron. That probably... I mean, I know that was just a... That was my game loop. I fed everything into the... Uh, into the tower, sir? He did yeah, some nice walling. He did some nice walling. I did get a lot of... I, I, I was kind of thinking of Hera, like... I, sometimes Hera's just like, yeah, I'll eat this army to take villager hits. And I did do that. Like, I, I got... So the biggest thing, okay, when he... Alright, so here's the biggest thing, right? When Hera's like, I'm gonna eat this army, and I'm just gonna get vills. He's safe at home. And I'm not. You are not even close, my friend. That's not something I even thought about. Okay, you're right. Because what he's doing there is he's saying, even if you make army, I'm going to be well enough defended that you won't be able to do any damage to me. Whereas if I do damage to you right now, I'm going to be Vils ahead, and it's just going to compound into the late game. Whereas this fella immediately makes skirms and goes... In Whereas this guy would never stop making army to kill you with. Yeah, he's got four units. Yeah, that was... Okay, that was a stupid move. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought for some reason I needed, like, raid try to pull him off me when I all of his producing buildings are up front why should I leave I shouldn't have left until I cleared him out yeah or until you were safe like let's yeah. say you have a tower on your gold so he can't tower your gold let's say your woods also towered you have two towers on your woods here and he in your own stone and you have a tower on your stone maybe like this is a lot of towers yes but, but he hits you you garrison he goes away he loses army meanwhile you have an army in his base killing vills and he's panic walling because he's not prepared. Okay. Right? I think. So his tower on his stone right here. This is the kind of defensive tower I'm talking about. Yeah. Because that made it so you couldn't That's hit his exactly stone, is. right? He saw me leave. He immediately full house walled up and then dropped the tower on his exposed stone. Yeah. So, like, let's say you have that on your gold. So, like, right here. 
Or maybe over here and you're on your secondary gold. Yeah. Let's say you have one over here on your stone. And then maybe you've walled here and you've walled here to your archery. So you have a tower here, you're walled on the side. Yeah, I should have done that a long time ago. Then you have your TC here protecting your middle. You have tower over here. And then let's say you just like walled this or this or this. And you're on your back woods. You can't be touched. Right? Yeah. Now, okay. don't don't get too excited about this walling thing, right? Like, that will come. That will come you. when you're not worried about making villagers. Because you're going Castle Age right now, but you're 27 minutes in. Yeah. You could have been Castle Age 20 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> not 20 minutes ago, but like... <laughs> 10 minutes ago? You could have gone up. You had the res. Because you didn't make anything. Yeah, that's right. Or you could have been up like 6 minutes ago and you would have had a solid eco. Right? So, like, don't focus on the walling. Focus on, like, making villagers. And then as we go through and we'll do, like, an archer build order, that will help you be like, okay, this is kind of how my economy needs to look as I play more. Personally, though, I absolutely yeah. hate straight archers. Like, I, I think it's a really slow build, and I don't like it. That's me, though. Yeah, it's just, like, I, I prefer personally to be able to play with archers because of stutter stepping, but I guess that's something I should get out of my head because it's probably micro I shouldn't be doing Yeah. this level. Yeah. Um, the... We have a little tower. So here's a here. little panic tower. Now here's another thing though, okay? Let's look at the vill counts, right? You're at 44, he's at 28, and you're almost castle age. He's not even going up, and he's not making no. this. No. Like, I'm very curious how you lose this game. I actually GG'd out, because I, I just buzzed out. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, that, that, that's kind of why I wanted the crit so bad, is because, like, I saw where I did lose. So we have two more archery ranges. Here, let's just stop one sec. Okay, let's just look at this. Okay, so you're making two more ranges. You have Expo and Thumb Ring queued up. You're not getting Bodkin Arrow. There is no Bodkin Arrow. Okay. You force down the Panic Tower on your wood. So you're not making TCs. You have no market to balance your eco. Alright. So this is a 1 TC play. So I have a question then. Like obviously you're looking over here. Why didn't you take your Woodvilles and finish your ranges? Hello? Are you gone? I think he's left. No, 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 I'm here. Sorry. I pressed the button on my headphones. Oh. Um, so Woodvilles, why didn't they finish your ranges? You know, I can't. I can't remember why. Okay. Uh, I think maybe it was. No, this is probably dumb, but I, judging by the situation or what I would have thought then, I probably wanted to keep them out of the fight so they weren't getting sniped by the skirms. Okay, so let's just do a quick thing. You know how the armor and damage calculation works, right? Yeah. Alright. So villagers with loom have plus two pierce armor. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. okay. Skirms with fletching do three damage. It takes 40 scrims to one-shot a bill. What? With fletching. I should... <laughs> what? Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. It... No, no, you don't need to apologize, man. Like, it's... Fuck. <laughs> this is things that just new players don't know and they don't think about. Yeah. There's a lot to this game. Dude, that's why it's a better game. But yeah. It... Holy crap. Okay. You have to try really hard to lose your bills to force herms. You have to try. <laughs> really hard. Oh, yeah. All right. Four archers, though, it's a little bit different. Like, if we look at your expo here, they do six damage. Yeah. So you're going to get yeah, four. So ten can one-shot a bill, right? Yeah. Your expo's right here. They can one-shot a bill. Yep. Okay. So... 
Scrims. Unless there's a lot. They're, yeah, they're really just a threat to my archers, and I can't yeah. worry about them in eco. And spears. Just them. Or say, say again? And spears. They, they have and bonus spears. against spears. Wait, they have, scrims have bonus against spears? Yes. They do really? bonus damage against spears. So, in the future, if you ever have like three scrims harassing a wood line, just take your villagers and right click on them. Really? And you will you win. Go fight them. Okay. And you will win. Okay. Because one, scrims have minimum range, so if a unit's right beside it, they can't shoot it. Two, they I do no damage. Okay. Wow. And three, your vills do three damage. And your scrims have zero armor against it. So they take three yeah. damage a hit. Whereas I'm I'm gonna take one damage a hit. Yeah. Cause it's all it, it like it's kinda like even though they're plus or minus, there's always a guaranteed one, even if you're like negative. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You yeah. always get minimum one damage. Yeah. Which is why people mix in the uh, in big fights mix in like uh rams to just soak up. In big archery fights, absolutely. Hundred yeah. percent. Hundred percent. Soak up with arrows. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I have. <laughs> but like, that's like that's like way beyond this right now. <laughs> no, I know, man. That, that's where like, all right. So I've been. That's where the connection is, though. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. My. So here we go. Your wood are now building it. Perfect. And do we send them back to wood? No, we do not. Are we making bills? No, we are not. Okay. Are we mining stone? No, we are not. But we are going across to make two siege workshops and yeah, raid with expo. <laughs> that's what I thought I was going to do. I was going to bust in and try to take out his eco. So we're back on stone. All right. Do you know the res that you need to go to imp? I don't off the top of my head. I do not. 1,000 food, 800 gold. 800 gold. So I was not even prepping. No, 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 no. I'm not even asking if you were prepping for imp, okay? I just want you to look at your res count. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I, it was, in, in it was no about. situation, you're not even thinking about gold, right? Or uh, like I, imp, you're not on gold. I get it now. Holy crap! I should. That's my game is literally up there in those four numbers, and the rest of it should just be attack move. Yeah. Because. Yeah. I, These oh. eight numbers, eight sets of numbers. How many vills yeah. are on my wood? How much wood do I have? How many vills are on food? How much food do I have? So on and so forth. <laughs> Yeah. That's your life. Okay. I did. Yeah. Alright. And then there's. Is my TC making villagers? I have a thousand food. Why are there only three vills queued up? <laughs> when I know I'm gonna forget about it for the next ten minutes because I'm microing my expo. Yep. Yep. <laughs> With a thousand food. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So, what we're gonna do, okay? Is we're just going to get into a single player game? Well, not a single player game, but like you're going to just join me. I don't need to watch the rest of that because okay. it's not even relevant anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, know, we know where our areas of weakness are, right? Yeah, 100%. So it's going to be called Masinko's Game, passwords 1, 2, 3. Okay, so lobby browser search singles game. Yeah. It should, uh, it should show up. My games tend to show up because I always have people join them without passwords. Uh, singles, plural, singles, right? No, just go multiplayer, and then just go yeah. lobby browser, right? Yeah. And it's called Masinko's singles. Game. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying singles game, okay. Oh, no, no, sorry, Masinko. Masinko. Uh, that's neither your name on, alright, spell it for me, bud. M-A-S-I-N-K-O. Yeah. Yes. And if you can't see it, then I will just add you once and invite you. Uh, let me give it a second. I know that they have issues with this. <clears throat> Try again. No, add me on Steam. Okay. So. You're actually going to add me, because that just makes life easier. So I'm going to send you my friend code. Okay. So, just... There you go. 
Let's go from there. Maybe it was because I didn't uppercase the M. Who knows if they're... No, I don't know. Like, the lobby's so glitched. It... Yeah, I mean, the crossplay's god-awful. I, I was trying to get into a game with a friend of mine, and we could not do it at all. That kind of sucks. Alright. So, where is your name? I just added you, and I don't know, see you... I just invited you to the lobby. Password's like one, two, three. Alright, let's see here. The legume. Uh, hang in on joining lobby for a second. Yeah, yeah. There's no rush. One, two, three? Was it the wrong password? Uh, I don't think so. Then I have no idea what's going on. One, two, three. Okay. There you are. There we are. Okay, right. go blue. <coughs> Say again? Go blue. Go blue? Okay. Did you make me skip houses? Okay. We're, uh, we're just going to worry about Eco Balance and Feudal. And Dark Age. Yeah. You're not playing, I'm playing, by the way. Playing Unless, on what? I'm not, you're not playing, I'm playing. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so this is going to be more of like a walkthrough than anything else. Sounds good, okay. Okay. So, I'm not gonna worry about like getting lumber or whatever. Okay, if you don't feel sh comfortable sheep scouting, don't bother sheep scouting. Yeah, that's right. Here, just for this, I'm not gonna sheep scout. So, huge thing to worry about: your sheep, your next sheep. You always want it right beside your bills. Yep. Actually, tend to. Uh... Shift in the next so they don't get that little moment of stupidity. And what you, yeah, if you, you shift Q? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you can shift Q, shift Q. But you still want it right beside. Like, that just doesn't change. Four. So the biggest thing, especially when you're scouting without using sheep, no black spots. Alright? Okay. Because when you're going through and you have a huge black spot, like, right here, I, yeah. You can't see it because you can't see my mouse. But let's say there was a black strip right where that boar is. Yeah. I was too busy talking. Anyway, we're going to wood. Where that boar is, right? You have to go scout back and you have to look for that. I'm reasonably confident there's nothing there. But all right. And another thing with the with the game. So here, I'm just gonna pause this. So your starting resources, they kind of changed a little bit with the ED, right? So you'll have. In this case, I have four sheep, which we found at the very start, and then I have three cows. And those three cows are basically my four other sheep. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they have more food room. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I'm going to be 100% honest. It fucking drives me up the wall that they did this. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. But. 
Yeah. Just understand that, like, if you have Moomoo's, they have more food, so you're going to have less of them. Okay. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I, I probably would have kept looking for the other... What would it be now? One one cow? <laughs> one, one more cow, yeah. Right? And then it's like, oh, I got lamed. No, no, you had it all. <laughs> gotcha. So, okay. obviously, I still need to explore my map, and I still need to find my second boar. But my herdables are all found. Okay. So, as much as I hate it, what we're doing is the quote-unquote archer build. All right? Mm -hmm. And for archers, all you need is a 22 pop-up. Okay. All right, so you get both four, and then... Yeah, yeah, you'll see, you'll see. Yep. And then if you have any questions, just, like, pause the game. You can pause. So we have the second board, and we found our main gold. Uh, what's the hotkey to pause? I don't know it. Just press pause or F3. Okay, and the biggest worry is, of course, just keeping the TC full. Full of bills. Yeah. Oh, wait. Shit. You fucked my shit, bro. I did, I did. I'm trying to right click drag. But, no, god damn it. Unselect. My bad. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 I was trying to right click, move my camera around, and I select. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give right. you a 100% pro tip, okay? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Turn that off. Turn that off? Okay. Turn that off. Max your scroll speed and turn that off. Okay, max the scroll speed. 100%. Like, let's do it right now. Let's do that right now. Right now, dude. I was already at 75%, but yeah, let's just let's just turn that up to 100. Who the fuck is it? There it is. Okay, scroll speed. 100%. Okay. Confirm. And then we're going to go with the... Uh, what do they call it in this thing? It's going to be in the game options. Click drag scrolling button. Disabled. Just turn it off? <laughs> Just disable that shit. Alright, game options. Click drag scrolling. <laughs> oh, why am I blind? It's right under the scrolling speed. Oh. Yeah, click drag scrolling behavior. Okay. Okay, and I just got disconnected from the game, so we're gonna go back and this time we're not gonna have fucked up wood. <laughs> that's probably my internet. Yeah, that's fine. I, uh, it shit I, happens. I have bad pack plus. Not even on my hops. It's like the third hop away from my router. Oh, okay. Good. One, two, three. Okay. So, join blue. I'm not touching shit. I'll just scroll around. Just got to ready up. <laughs> yep. So, here, when cooping, there's two things I want you to really look at, okay? Okay. I want you to always have the TC selected. Just leave it on there. Okay. Just leave the TC selected. Yeah. And really keep an eye on the extra res. Like, the uh, res count at the top. Because that's what I want you to be looking at. I want you to make sure your TC has bills, and I want to make sure that you know how many bills you have on what res. The main focus should always just be TC. Okay. Yeah, well, and, and scout, obviously, because you have to scout, but... Yeah, but, I mean, like, send a scout, refocus TC, even if you're not doing anything with TC. Yeah. Okay. And personally, I absolutely hate using waypoints for my scout, because the pathing when you have, like, a really weird forest and stuff, gets really fucking screwy. So I like babying my scout and I like clicking like four tiles in front of it. Okay. That's me. I mean, there's a lot of really good players that don't. You do it how you feel comfortable, right? Gotcha. So a, a tip. Okay, we're gonna pause. Just go over my TC. Yeah. Are you over? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Can you see the sheep? Yeah. So what you do, okay, is you select one sheep and you select your bills at the same time. And then you click on the dead sheep. And the sheep will walk over your dead sheep and the bills will keep eating the dead sheep. Oh, and they don't even have to move. Yeah. Do they, do they have that, like, AI 
brain part, or do they? Do uh, I still shift you. Okay. Because <laughs> sometimes they will. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Sure. But. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's very cool. You can't do it on Voobly. You can't do it on HD. You can do it on DE. That's very cool. And all you have to do is just have a sheep selected when you move your vills to on a dead sheep. So what I do is I'll like kill my sheep first. I'll have a sheep nearby. And then I'll just select the bills and the sheep all at the same time, and then I'll just click. Again, though, like... Oh, wait, sorry. Mike was muted again. Yeah, I, I got you. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. <laughs> it's like, my bad. Girlfriend's talking to me. It's like, my... Oh, okay. I... Yeah, she's, she's yelling. Sorry. Okay. So it's six on food, then four to wood. Basically, what you did the last game. Yep. Six food, four wood. Do you do berries or do you skip them? You'll see. I am not teaching you a water map build order right now. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was always just curious about the berries though, because like you should gather faster than your sheep, so why don't you just eat all your sheep first? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, a large part of it is like a large part of it to me at least is crowding under the TC and okay. you don't need it to get up per se but like let's gotcha. say you're rushing up then you're gonna have more guys and you're gonna get your boars earlier and you're not going to have as many on berries because you need faster food, right? Yeah. But, like, the difference between berries and sheep, man, it's so negligible. Is it really? So it's yeah, it's, like it's 3.1 versus 3.4 or something. It's negligible as all can be, gotcha. right? Like, hunt's pretty noticeable. Like, you'll you'll notice a really a much faster gather rate from boar and stuff. Yeah. But it's it's negligible. It's not... It's, yeah. That's what it would be focused on. No, it's not. It's not. It's not something that's really outside of like archaic trivial knowledge. It's not even worth knowing. Okay. <laughs> to me, at least. So I do have some black spots, and that's okay. I mean, if there's a boar in them, they'd wander out. Maybe. So we have four on wood. This guy got, has to go get a boar. I'm talking to you too much. And then the next guy goes to berries. We need another sheep under the TC. So you see, there's me fucking up, right? No, no, but it's alright. I mean, he was still under No, no, and I'm just, I'm pointing it out. Like, yeah. if I'm actually playing, that's not gonna happen, but I'm talking to you and it's just. Yeah. Not trying to make excuses, but that's just bad. And we found our other board. Hey, found your other board. <laughs> so there you go, that black spot yeah. had the board. Yeah. Okay, I gotta pause here. Yep. Alright, what is your order of operations for taking the pulling villager, putting him back into the vill or into the TC, and dropping him back on the board? Is it go to waypoint or go back to work? Waypoint. So I always set my waypoint on my board. So the um, way my hockey's work, right? G is garrison. I need, I need, I need a, uh, a waypoint hotkey. Alright, I turned it off because I was using right click waypoints <laughs> and I will I will admit I've lamed myself a few times Yeah, on yeah, board. yeah That was the uh, ooh noise <laughs> Yeah So for me, it's Q. So my go to TC button is W because I play around WASD and my W is go to TC, so I garrison W Q, click on the board R is go back to R is go to waypoint, and okay. it goes. Okay, so it has to be go to waypoint. There's no you. You can't just like go back to work. You might be able to, but I've never tried it. I. I don't think you can. I've I, I've tested it, and he like walks back to the last point that he got a shot off on the board. There you go. Uh, God damn. Maybe it. that's. Right, so I need a hotkey. One sec. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, so hotkeys. I am using G, H, and F. I think I'm gonna put it on T. 
that's not taken. What was that going to be under? I guess under Town Center. No? Of course not. Yeah, it's going to be under. Uh, no, it's going to be in Game Commands. Okay. The question marks. Because it's going to be like unload or whatever. No, I mean, there's, there's, no, no, it's, uh, it's gotta be under town center, because, uh, no, I have unload and go back to work. I need waypoint. Where the hell's the waypoint? Group commands. Group commands. No, of course not. No, it's like, unload, bro. It's unload and unit commands. Unit commands. Yeah, it's unload. No, un no, unload is... No, unload's for, like, boats and Stuff, no, it's set it's, it's for the TC too. No, set gather points. How you make your waypoint? Yeah, I have. I have. Yeah, I'm no, telling I you, man, it's unload. Un un garrison, un garrison. Yeah, well, I have unloaded on garrison as the same button. My bad. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that <laughs> my bad. My bad. Before I, work, before I uh, fuck all my shit up, and I just did fuck all my shit up. What? There we go. Okay, change. Unload and un garrison should be the same. Unpack? No, keep that on Q. That's that's Q. Um, honestly, you're not even gonna ever have to use unpack. I don't even have that set. Yeah. Because uh, what happens with this game yeah, you, you is when you have a tread, you literally just click on the next thing and it will do it. It okay. will go there and uh, unpack on its own. So I don't need to remove gather gather point if I keep using right click. click. Yeah, no. For me, that's like throw away on the right side of my keyboard. Okay. Okay. Same uh, with heal. I don't have a button for heal. Change gather point to a T. Attack ground uses the same. That's not a fucking problem. That's no. Nope. Can't, can't use. Hundred percent. Commands on town. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's why I start. I, I've uh. I have. What the hell is it? I don't have to remember what the hell I put them on. My score wheels do different things. Depending on if they're villagers, buildings, or military, and I okay. cannot remember. Personally, some people really don't like this. My scroll wheel is for my idols. I okay. So on my unselected, I used to at least in HD use my scroll wheel for mill and seeding farm. So I'd go up for mill and down for seeding farm. So Ooh. I could just like queue up. Oh, that's bad. Really that's quick. bad. You must have like used so much wood unintentionally. No, I mean, like, I don't have to, like, throw the thing. I could just, like, pop a couple of in there. Or okay. Pop a fair enough, fair enough. Um, and I think for mill, it was, or for military, it was um, just toggling really quickly between uh, line order and strafe. Okay. But I don't remember what the hell I have it set for built things. <laughs> I don't think there's a point. There's no point. Yeah. Actually, wait. What about gather points and on garrison? Oh, 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 oh. no, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm taking you off the point. My bad. Man. <laughs> no, dude, you figure out your hockey's, bro. <laughs> that shit's important. Yeah, that shit is. I've spent way too much time trying to. And now I don't even know. Like I, I spent so much time like trying to remember what I used to have it, and now there's like. Dude, just go with what you feel comfortable with, man. Well, now there's group queuing in this one. Yeah, there was an HD as well. And I think, I think the reason that I didn't do that is because I intended one day to go over to Boobly. Uh, which also has group queue. Does it now? Yeah. And that's multi queue. No, then I don't think HD did. Yeah, it did. One of them was forced. Nope. Nope, they both have it. They all have it. Because I've been using it ever since uh, User Patch came out. Which was years and years and years and years and years ago. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Damn, I don't know. Old Google searches, I guess. So, anyway, let me know when you're out of the hockey menu. I'm out. I'm ready. Okay. I'm just going to lose my build now. No, I'm kidding. Okay. 
Apparently I've been stealing sheep. We're gonna send those back to Or. Okay, so it's four to berries. And then we go get our second board. Okay. But you don't put eight on board. Just get seven on board. Yeah, I have seven. Well, six plus the hunter, right? And then after that, your bills go to board. Okay. So after you have four on berries, like let's say you have eight on board and you only have three on berries, and then you get your second board. Yeah. Who cares? As long as in the end you have four on berries. That's all that matters. Yeah, I only, I only recently figured out that I need to stop thinking about rock. Okay, you're cutting out. We're going to need to wait for your internet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, you're good now. No, uh, I, I just only recently realized that you stop worried about rot and just pull the board when I need to pull the board. Yep, you just do it by the build door. Yeah. Like, really, like, pro players, they'll just wait, let the board wait under their TC. I'm too fucking lazy. Yeah. I'll just have some bills. Even then, like, I'm now I'm starting to realize that letting the rot happen, like, let's say I pull the board early and there's 10% left on the other board, fuck it. Just go to the other All board. Alright, so big thing here, okay? We're at 19 bills, 20 pop. Okay, we're going 22 pop archers. All right? A couple really important things to point out here. One, I have not built a mining camp. Fair. Okay, Fair. that's a big deal. Two, Eat. my last two villagers and loom, everything's going to wood from here. I have enough on food. Okay, all right, okay. so then the rest is gold. The next three are gold? No, we're going up at 22 pop. Look at our pop. But you're not going to send anything to gold to start building up for the... You'll see. You'll see. That's what happens when you've already clicked up. So you have two priorities when you're going up, when you're in Dark Age, right? Make okay. villagers, get the food to go up. Okay, so it's just futile. You're not even planning. You'll, you'll unfuck your economy while you're going up. Okay. Yeah, because gotcha. right now my economy isn't fucked. It's getting food so I can click up in time. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think that's uh, another one of my gigantic mistakes. And that's a, another thing a lot of new players don't understand. It's not that, hey, I prepared early. No, it's, uh, hey, buddy, you're up a minute and a half late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going to die to scouts because, like, archers is already a slow build. It takes forever to mass archers. An archer takes 35 seconds to create. That's a long time. <laughs> gotcha. That's less than two a minute. Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't know the exact time for scouts. Here, I'm going to Google it real quick because I'm kind of curious. So here, let's just go AOE to scouts. But, I mean, scouts definitely produce faster, so you can... Well, we're going to find out. Seven. We're going to find out real quick. 30 seconds. They produce Three. five seconds faster than an archer, okay? Yeah. You can do a lot more with five scouts than you can do with five archers. Yep. That's true. And you could do it on one stable instead of going... Two stable. Heavy in the... Or, oh, yeah. Exactly. So, we've, we're we going to ignore my opponents. Another thing, split lumber. That's kind yeah. of whatever. So you go four and four in the beginning and then fill them out later off of the yeah. food guys. Okay, gotcha. So I already have the food to go up, if you look. Yeah, I, I see that. We're just getting loot now, and I, already, and I already have the food to go up. Gotcha. So we go three to the gold. Make our mining camp. So there's really no point in taking gold until nope. you can actually until you can actually archers. make archers, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it's gonna be ten on wood. I didn't need to kill that second sheep. That's just bad habit. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. And. Don't need to make farms until you need to. Exactly. Okay. Now, if I was paying attention, I would have made that bill go on to my already being eaten sheep instead of opening a new one. If the AI was retarded, then anyways. Well, no, no, I had the sheep right there, right? Like, that's something I'd micro during an actual game. I, I'm not microing that right now. So it's just, it's always a flip of sheep, dead or alive. Yep. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. There is no prioritizing for AI bills. 
So stable's built. Or sorry, barracks is built. <laughs> Not stable. Yeah. Do you do a house right now too, or? Um. Yeah. Normally, uh, you would be doing a house as well, but I'm Hun, so I don't do a house. Okay. So. I'm I'm gonna send you a chart, okay? Also, another thing you can do, okay? If you go look at my TC before I, because we're playing DE, it lets you queue up shit after you do tech. Just get one going right afterwards. Yeah. So I already have a build queued up because I can. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You at downtime. And we're gonna put it on a trailer tree. So one archery, two archery. Double bit axe. As soon as we have the wood, we keep making bills. And then as the wood comes in, we make farms because our sheep's gonna die. Might be the easiest fall off I've ever seen. And then. After we get a nice number of farms up, like five or six, we're gonna start adding bills to gold. Okay. Because if you look, we actually have lots of golds because we had three there earlier. Yeah. That'll carry over until you get to seven. It's like just the, the yep. hangover. Yeah. Okay. It'll last a while. So, so as long as our ranges are producing, we make farms. So when you extra Q farms up like you just did. Okay. I think you just did on one person. Nope. I no, selected each Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Never mind. Take that back. Uh, but what about what about in a late game scenario? Sure. I, I see like Hera using one vill to make a shit ton of farms. Okay. Is that just like easier than reseeding? So the, the thing that happens a lot is they're not going to use one vill. They're going to select like 10 vills. They're going to place a mill and 10 farms around the mill. Yeah. Then you build the mill and the vills will each go to one farm and build that farm. Oh, it, it splits it up. They don't just move. In yeah, the they don't just clump. They after you build the mill, they individually divide and they go one to each farm that's available. Oh. And then if there isn't a farm available, they fucking stand there and they do nothing. After the mill's built. I did not know that. So that's why you're going to be seeing a lot in late games. So like you'll see them spam like 20 farms and drop yeah. a mill right in the middle. Gotcha. Bam. Gotcha. But I, I've seen them like, I've seen them also in late game overbuild farms with one villager. Do, do farmers migrate? Like if a berry bush went out, they just go to the next farm? Uh, no, that's builders. No. Only if, uh, if, uh, if a berryville runs out of berries... They're gonna fucking stand there because they were berry bills. <laughs> no, well, I mean, like, no, no. Uh, let me say this again. Uh, so, if a berry bill runs out of berries, yep. On one berry bush, they go to the next berry bush. Yes. Do farmers do the same yes. thing if you overbuilt your farm? Yes. Okay. Okay. But that's not why they're doing that with one bill. Okay. Like that's not the actual reasoning because if an enemy walks by with one unit, they can kill all your farms, and you just lost gotcha. all that wood. Gotcha. So, so why do I see him? I have no idea. You would have to show me because I, I don't understand why you would ever do that. Okay. Uh, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> but, like, what he can do is he might, like, place a TC, have, like, six vills building a TC, place six farms around that TC with one vill. And then they'll all blow out on it. On okay. the farms because they just finished building and now they're going to go build. God damn, that's awesome. All right. Cool. I didn't know that. that, that, that that's awesome. That's so good. That's so much, like, less extra effort. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Good just... question. Don't apologize. So, again, we're making archers, and we're making villas. And we still only have three guys in gold. But we are now at five farms. So, our waypoint can now go to gold. Gotcha. And we're still yeah, making yeah, archers. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And then, as we get the wood in... So again, priority here, right? Priority, have archers in the ranges. Yeah. This is 100%. We need to make army. And if we have to make a spear because our opponent's going scouts, then we need to make that spear. That spear is more important than one farm. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because dead vills don't come back. <laughs> yeah. All right, so ideally, like, you probably usually queue up the archers inside of the archery ranges. Yes, they are. If you look, I'll have two in each right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you... Okay, so... For now, I'm only gonna go to six on gold, because that's all I'm gonna need, and then I'm gonna worry about getting more farms. Okay. Not seven, just six for right now. 
Yeah. I'll add the seventh later when I get like a really solid farming for going. Yeah, because you, are, you, you have extra from the feudal yeah. transition. Okay, cool. And it's more important to get farmed so I can get up faster than to get in some gold. Yeah. And so if you're looking, I only had 10 guys on... So I had 10 guys on wood this whole time, right? Yeah, I thought it was... Except for like the guy, like it's going to be switching because I have the stragglers. You always bounce off the straggler trees, okay. Right? But there's 10 guys on the main camps. And if you look right now, I have no one on stragglers. I have 172 wood. And I have archers being made. Yeah. So that means I can either make a decision here. I can make a blacksmith to get fletching. Or I can make farms with my berry bills. So I can take like two guys off berries and add farms if I want. Alright. Or I can also make a different decision, which I didn't do earlier, because wood's really tight with an archer build. And a really important thing to do is to get a horse collar. So I forgot I didn't do that, but I didn't do it intentionally. Bidex. Bidex. I already got that. That's right after your archeries. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's like oh, okay. that's like top priority. So then horse collar afterwards. Yeah. yeah, you're st it's still wood. You're converting food in or wood into food, so... Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So it's, so uh... what would you do right now? Like, ignoring the AI score? Yep. What would, what would you... Like, your typical... Like, do you choose aggression, or do you it's go eco? 100% situational, but, like, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Fixing your eco is more important than attacking. Alright, so skip, skip early fletching. Go yeah, like, like, like now if like, we're talking priorities back. though, yeah. like if we're talking like heavy, heavy <laughs> higher level priorities, it depends on your opponent's map. Yeah. If you can do damage, you get fletching. If you can't do damage, which at your level you can't because you're going to hurt yourself more. Uh, at my level I could, I probably wouldn't even be able to determine if I could. Exactly, right? Worry about your eco. Your resources okay. go towards farms, upgrades, okay. that's what matters. Okay. And okay, your new vills are still going to the stragglers. Like I, as we keep playing this out, my new vills are still going to the straggler trees, and they're still making me farms. Gotcha. They're still. Do they? Oh, oh this is a huge question. I, yep. I think they lose it. I, I don't know if it's changed. When they switch to a farm, like like let, let's say that they're. Okay, so here's the. I know what you're asking. All right. Okay. So let's say you have woodcutters, and yep. they go to build a farm. Yes. When they build that farm. The resources they had are actually dropped off. Wait, dropped off? Yeah, or they're deposited. Deducted? They're deposited. You get those resources in your bank. That's why people will take woodvilles directly from wood and make farms. You cheese that? No, it's like it's 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 a it's not it's I, I'm making air quotes, okay? It's not a bug, it's a feature. Okay, it's a glitcher. Uh the <laughs> And it works with mining camps? And lumber camps. So all resource buildings. Except for mills. Resource buildings. Okay, so you can't it might work with mills, wall. I don't know. But I don't think so. Not on a palisade wall, not on a... No. Okay. But farms are like the cheapest way to do it. So you'll actually see Viper play games where he has like 10 vills forward. And he has those 10 vills, like kill a fuck ton of deer, get a bunch of food. And then he just makes yeah. a farm in the middle of nowhere for like, why? Well now he just got like 300 food in his bank because of all those deer he ate. That's, dude, I might do that once in the next three months, but I'm going to keep that. Again, in my mind. <laughs> remember how I started this, okay? Viper is not us. We are not Viper. <laughs> Viper is not a human. Viper is an alien. Oh, he man. is so far beyond us at this game. And don't get me wrong, other people of other levels do that too. But, like, oh. it's, uh. So, yeah, never feel shy about taking bills off of gold, stone, or wood to make a farm. You're gonna get those res back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. And that's why I'm doing this from stragglers, right? Because I'm losing nothing. I'm gaining wood. They're being productive. Gotcha. So farm in any eco building, it's fair game. I can just pull them off. I don't have to worry about dropping off. Hundred like percent. Okay. Wow. So I can pull everything off of trees to go build a, a mining camp. And, and you'll get all of it. All the wood. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Dude, there needs to be. A like, there are though. There are guides with this. It's just really hard to find. <laughs> I know, but there's so many like zero to hero shits 
out there, right? And Zero Empire is great, but there's so many Zero to Heroes out there that are telling you the direction to go, but not why you're doing it. Yeah. I don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. It triggers me because people will be like, oh, he had he had a better eco and he got more food and so he got it faster than you. And he's like, well, it's like, yeah, well, no, thanks, genius. I fucking know. But yeah. why didn't I have the food? Yeah. Like, I thought I did this right, and it's like, oh, no, you had an inefficient eco. Well, what was inefficient? <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are, like, in, in real games, these are, like, core mechanics. That yes, are these are not, things that people over 1,500 don't even think about. This is just, it's common knowledge, which and someone said, new coming in doesn't know. People below 1,500, they raise their elo just by learning yeah. about them. Yeah, 100%, man. Well... Okay. Okay, so we're gonna keep going? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is why I'm doing this, right? Yeah. So we just keep the archers making. We have the food, we have the wood, we're gonna make our blacksmith. And we now added more gold, bills to gold. So I'm gonna add two more. So I'm gonna go eight. And that's because we delayed the seventh. Like, this is high level or higher level. This is like eco compensation, okay? Yeah, yeah. A little so bit right now, what we're gonna be doing is because we're still doing two ranges. We're going to keep using those six bills of gold, right? Yeah. So they're not collecting gold for us, but we need an extra 50 gold for fletching. And we need 200 to get up. Because it was, yeah, we delayed fletching. And, okay, okay. Right? So for that, I'm adding two bills to gold, so I'm adding eight. Okay. And those are good. And those basically, those two bills are going to be my fletching and then my up gold. Those other six, they're already getting me my archers. Gotcha. And how much is it for castle? 200 gold. 200 gold, okay. And in the meantime, after I have 8 on gold, everything else is still making farms. Okay. So we're going, yeah. as soon as I have my 8th guy on gold, we're going right back to wooden farms. Wood Get 60 wood, okay. we make a farm. Build a farm, okay, cool. We're not making yeah, an archer, like, while well, our resources need to make our, our archer. So we delay a farm until we have archers going. So a solid 10 and then stragglers is the way to go. Like, you don't just put 12 Every on game, every bro. And, it, and I'm going to be 100% with you, okay? It really doesn't matter what build you're doing. This is how it operates. Like, any feudal aggression build is going to operate yeah. 10 on wood, stragglers, okay. and farms. Okay. Now, okay. shit changes when you have to start docking, okay? I promise you, at your level, fish are just not going to matter. No one's good enough for it. I mean, I mean, but hybrid maps are in the pool. No one's playing nothing but Arabia anymore, so... Yeah, well, a lot of people are now learning how to play hybrid maps because yeah. all they played was Arabia. Like, I was one of those weird ones who I was like... I fell in love with islands when I was, like, 1500. So I learned how to play island like water maps when I was new. So to me, it's, like, yeah. supernatural. So I'm actually playing above my rating on Arabia. Like, people who kick my ass on Arabia, I'm like, I'm destroying them on water. Because yeah. I know it, right? Yeah. So I'm actually playing above my rating. Like, my rating on DE, it's with the 2Ks. I am not 2K. <laughs> but I'm winning all these water maps that I'm up there. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, again, like I said, at your level, not gonna matter. I promise. <laughs> not even a corner dock. Like, I mean, it's gonna happen. I mean, there's so many water maps out there right now. There's, there's, yeah. there's rivers, rivers and, and highlands. But so, uh, uh, stupid question. Right now on this build, sure. If I was gonna compensate, compensate for what? Uh, for doing fishing ships, how many villagers should I just pull off? Like two, two villagers extra on wood would compensate for producing the so, ships I need. No, because I'm gonna. Because no, the thing is, you're changing your build from Dark Age. Yeah. Okay. So in Dark Age, you're actually gonna have five on wood. And then you're gonna go up, okay. and by the time you're out of Dark Age, man, like, like this is why I don't really want to get it's into it. Okay, like the thing yeah, is, yeah, is yeah, when you have fish, you want to protect your fish. Totally different world, and then you're gonna be building. Yeah. Okay. And Just the way you game. adjust your eco is gonna be completely different because you're not gonna farm as early. Because if you have free water, then you're gonna fish boom, and you're not gonna make farms, so you're gonna add more to wood. And it's gonna it's a completely different eco balance, right? Yeah. So um, it's not gonna matter for you and I I mean I I'm not 
I swear to God, I'm not being condescending, okay? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just I, when you when I you can do this, game, you can do that. that. Yeah, when I when I'm playing the game, I won't worry about it. But let's say I'm following this type of build. Sure. Uh, I'm doing it just by instinct. Right. <laughs> Please don't be doing it by instinct. Please well, write these numbers I'm, down and remember I'm strictly, them. I'm strictly following, like trying to keep all my resources low and staying yeah. ahead of the staying ahead of the plane. Yeah. But let's say that we're on a water map and I want to take fish. Do I take them? I take them off of food, right? I yeah, so okay. here's the best thing I'm going to recommend to you, right? Yeah. Right now we're running 10. Mm -hmm. After you have like constant villager production or whatever else, right? Yeah. And you're protected at home. Yeah. And you have enough guys that you can keep your archer production. You can get your fletching and you can prepare to go up. Just don't take bills off wood. So yeah, like okay. instead of making farms, let's say you get up to like 13, 14 on wood. You make your dock and then you make fish. Just don't worry about it early game. Like you can just add bills to wood if you're gonna use more wood. So okay. like, if you were to go like six or seven on each lumber camp right now and go build the dock and make fish, it's not gonna hurt you. Okay. It's not gonna help you immediately. It's gonna delay your uptime because you're going on to fish so late. Yeah, but it's it's yeah yeah. Okay. And like the biggest thing about fish though is that at the higher level it really helps you early game. Because it lets you focus more on... It's, was, it's less resources invested to get food into your TC. I was kind of... I don't know if it's a bad observation, but I kind of thought that the booms happened earlier on water maps for, like, high-level play. Watching uh, Yo and, and Hera play and stuff. Their booms, like, they, they were up... Much faster. Yeah, much faster because yeah. they're... Because they of the have, fish. Their, their food output comes in twice as fast. They're well, it's not food output, cheap. it's food input. <laughs> well, yeah, food It's coming input. in. Their but villager yeah. output that goes to food comes is, out twice as fast. Yeah, no, and that's 100% it. 100% it. And that's why they go on fish super early. Like, that's why when people do fish builds, they don't make a mill on their berries. Oh, they skip it. They go straight to... Because oh. they don't need it. Because right. they're just going to eat their, sh their boar... They're sheep, and if they push deer, they'll eat the push deer. That's it's an entire another can of worms, and I see it now. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> and that's really why. Like, there's no like pure water maps. So yeah. like, if it comes to like your castle age and you have a full eco, and you're like, oh fuck, I need to get on water, just build a castle, build a dock, get your upgrades, and go on water. As Don't worry about the fish. As far as I've seen, though, rivers plays out pretty much like a pure water map. Kind of, not really. Like, so does Highland, though. So does Highland. But, yeah, they both do. They, they, they need both of those. But that's at higher level. QA. That's not at lower level, man. Like, I, I'm, like if you were to attack right now with your, my 10 archers, okay, anyone you play at your level is dead. Okay. Yeah, at this build. At this build like, look at the time, okay? Map, it's 15 yeah. minutes. Most of these guys are just going to be hitting fuel. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then the eco damage is too good. Uh... <laughs> Dumb question. Have yeah. You, except, have you ever tried to end a game by, like, just, like, a big dick move? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I, oh, yeah. I mean... Okay, so when I was, when I was, like, 1400, all right, I fell in love with palisading my guy into his base. Mm. Okay. Like, okay. I would send seven bills forward. And if he had, like, wall resources that were really far outside of his walls, I would just wall him in and his resources out. And then when I hit Feudal Age, I would make stone walls. <laughs> and then if he was trying to get wood and I was near his wood, I'd make a tower. Gotcha. And they'd be in there with, like, 60 vills, but I had the whole map. I'm so. thinking, like, so the game, the game we watched, uh, I mean, he kicked my ass, but I had better eco, and my score was up. Yeah, yeah, you, I, I... I, I guarantee you, anyone who casts that game is going to be saying that whole way you're winning. I don't know. I, I... No, trust me. Here, okay. like, this is something you're going to have to take on faith, okay? He had yeah. 26 vills. You had 44. Yeah, and, and that was the thing. Like, all right, so strategically and militarily, he was winning. No, he, you had a better military the whole way. Not like, where I quit, you had a better military. Yeah, I did. And uh, that I did a snafu. But I was still up. I was up almost 1,000 points. 
And my question is, psychologically, how can I make a dude GG at that point and not just like grief me? Okay, so here's what you need to do, okay? Because at the lower levels, people don't GG. So what you need to do is you need to just like turn every one of these games. Actually, here, I'm going to just backtrack a little bit, okay? Something that I have a personal problem with is I will get an advantage or I'll get map control and I don't yeah. utilize it well enough for my level. Okay. So I'll be playing people that are better than me like in rating so i'll be yeah. playing like 2k 2k1 and i'll be winning and i'll be in the lead right yeah and i won't use my lead and as a result i'll lose and like my lead will be really subtle it'll be i have army presence and he doesn't therefore yeah. uh, i have level. options that he doesn't have yeah right and because of my skill level and my experience level i don't actually notice these things in game but when they're pointed out to me, I'm like, wow, that's fucking obvious. Why didn't I do that? So when you're in a situation where you're like, I'm really fucking far ahead of this guy. He just doesn't quit. Okay. Yeah. Make TCs. Five, six. I don't care. You can make as many as you want. Oh, just get up to 130 yeah. villagers. Get Imperial. Yeah. Make Siege Ram. Order Cap Ram. Oh, and just. Oh, okay. All right. It just. And then just steamroll them. Right? Okay. And at the lower level, it's going to work every time. Like, and so by lower level, I mean like 15, 1600. Like, it's going to work. If you're ahead, and even at the higher levels, like, that's what Hera does when he's like, I'm going to trade this army to get ahead. And since he can't hit me, I'm going to get up first. I'm going to get my TCs first. And I'm going to compound on that, right? Yeah. So, in that game, you're sitting on 2K wood, 1,000 food, no gold, no stone. Make a market. Sell 200 food, get some stone. Yeah. Sell a couple hundred wood, get some stone. Make TCs, make farms, make villagers. And then when you look up and you realize you have 6k of everything, oh shit, I should probably go Imperial. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're at 150 vils and buddy there is at 50. Yeah. They're just like, you're safe at home or even if you push them off, I should have. God damn it, I should have done that. Damn it, damn it. I should have just boomed them. I should have saved yeah, that. Yeah, that's 100% it, right? I should, I should have stayed in that minute, or stayed in that game for four more minutes and boomed the shit out of him, and yep. it would have, I would have gotten the GG. I just, I, I, I fizzled out. No, it's okay, man. And I, <laughs> I promise you, people at all levels throw games they feel they should win. It happens. You will I go mean, back, and you will look at a game, and you're like, if I did this one thing, I would have fucking won, and I lost. Yeah. And I have played three games like that in the last two weeks. <laughs> oh. Where I've had complete map control, I've had all the relics, I've had 10k more gold, but I didn't n comprehend the right unit combination I needed. Yeah. And I lost. Yeah, I really want to get just to the. I want to get to my games where. or to level in games where people GG out when they should, and I'll GG out when I should. And just to understand it. Like, I don't want to be a genius. I don't care if I play slow and I make a bunch of mistakes. I just want to be mechanically. So, an someone who I think plays really clean and slow is a guy called John Slow, ironically. Yeah, yeah, John Slow from T90s, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, okay, like, the guy's been playing for, like, 15 years, but when you watch him play, he plays yeah. so slow, but he plays so clean. Dude, he, didn't he, he took a game off of... Oh, he's beat everybody, player. man. He's beat everybody yeah. at one point in time, okay? But just off the DE on this current ladder, he took a game, I, I watched it happen, I think he took a game off of Yo... Yeah, yeah. Like, and, the, and then, then he almost took one off of Hera, and he had Hera down by like 2,000 points. Yeah. Like 6,000, 8,000, and Hera still brought it back because Hera's Hera, but. Yeah, no, no. And so I would definitely look up his stream and yeah. you just. Because I really enjoy watching him because I find it really relaxing because there's nothing frantic about his play. He's so yeah. slow and calm and relaxed, and he's clean. Viper, he'll be doing 30 things and his macro will be perfect. Dude. This guy, he's doing like five, but everything's right. It's the right yeah. thing to do. Yeah. Even even Hera. Like, like uh, the criticism I had of, of Hera is like, uh, zero to hero or like the, the up to 2k thing. It goes from one video where there's nothing going on. And then the second video, he's bouncing all over the fucking place. Like, you just need to do this. this, this, this. Like, he's a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. And I get what he's doing. But for a, a pure beginner, like a first impression player, like I've been playing this game 
casually since there was dial-up internet. Like AOE, I, I, I remember like having my dial-up internet and trying to like tying up the phone line for an hour and a half. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, all right, sorry, man. Uh, nope. Uh, so where are we at? We're in the recap here. Okay, so we have eight guys on gold. So that's going to be the guys who are going to keep making our archers. They're going to get us our fletching, and they're yep. going to get us our up. Okay. All right. Yeah, you have the food for fletching. We have lots of food. We have archers queued up in both archeries. We have blacksmith being built. We're going to make another farm. And we are now going to get fletching. So you're not going to remember this, OK? But when you have about nine, ten farms, get Weirbro. You're not gonna remember it. Don't, don't stress yourself too much. But I'm currently at okay. nine farms. Yeah. I'm very soon gonna be at twelve farms. Get Weirbro. Okay. So you'll see it come up. And just keep making archers. So. So just like one good surround with a little extra. That's the time for Weirbro. Yep. I mean, it boosts everything else. So. Yeah, increased villager speed, increases carry, carrying capacity, so you don't have to make as many trips. Affects everything. Yeah. And it's with Weir Barrel that your eight vills are going to be able to get you your up. Because that's going to increase their efficiency. Why is it not like meta to just do it first off? Um, mostly because it's more beneficial. So Weir Barrel takes three vills. Okay, like the time to create wheelbarrow, it's three vills worth of creation time. So it's better. Do most people leave it off until they start booming on three C? No, 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 no. So usually you'll get it around the nine ten farm mark. Okay, like so that's the standard, because that's when it's no, it's more beneficial to get wheelbarrow than to make vills. Okay. Because you have so many out. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm at fifteen farms right now. I'm now gonna just start putting more guys on. Gold, just so I can make sure I can have the gold to get up, because I'm gonna have enough food. Like so we're already at 600 food. Like, better thought would be like 30 bills go wheelbarrow because they're all gonna improve off of it. Yeah, yeah, but okay. farms are more important because you just want to make sure you have the constant food production. Gotcha. Okay. okay. I love this zoom out feature. It's so good. Anyway, man, I'm starting to get a phone call. And they've been calling pretty insistently, it's family. Yep. So I'm gonna fuck off for 30, 40 minutes. You do it, man. So you can play this out, kill this computer, whatever. Yeah, okay. And then I'll be back. If you wanna just run through and wanna fail on your own and then ask questions, do it. All right? That's good to me. I'll be back in a bit. Have a good one. See you, man. Sound muted.